Hello YouTube, uh, Soup's here, so I'm going to be running through my games room, which is all set up, um, and why I think it's the best games room. Uh, I've been looking at other people's on YouTube, um, and yeah, I think my collection is the best because I love all the games. I don't have the most rarest stuff, but um, we'll go through it. I'll go through the hardware first, and then I'll uh, go game by game. So this video might go for a while, um, but yeah. So up the top... Um, move him. Uh, start off with Sega, uh, which was my first love, I guess. Even though I got a NES first, um, Sega is when I really got into gaming pretty hardcore. So I've got a couple of boxed uh, master systems there, different iterations, also the Sega Light Phaser, a couple of different ones, different Mega Drives. Um, these Mega Drives are actually interesting. So there's a Japanese one, and then there's a Japanese PAL imported one. So I think that that was the ones that you would actually order by the newspapers uh, when they first came out and there was a delay with them being released in Australia. Um, and then the Sega lock-on system, uh, that white box is a power cable thing, uh, converter. Um, up top we've got Nintendo, so a boxed uh, Super Nintendo Yoshi's Island pack, which is complete. Uh, a couple of different Nintendo 64 iterations as well. GameCube, Wii, Wii U, so I do collect modern consoles as well. Right up the top is that black box, um, and that's my JXD, which I've been talking about a lot on Twitter recently, and I'm loving that, because I can then play all these games on the move. Um, down on this shelf is a ton of uh, soft toys, which I've won or bought. Um, so, Neo X Gold, a um, couple of Xboxes, uh, Atari Flashback, Xbox 360s, uh, Xbox One there as well. Um, there's Totoro hiding, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, Go by Train, which is for the Sega Saturn. Uh, my Sega Saturn box is flat somewhere, and that's my original Sega Saturn box. Um, I didn't have the original console, but I've already bought that all as well. Up top, PlayStation 2, 3s. I have my original PlayStation, which I bought back in the day, but that's long gone the box i don't know where it's gone to but i still have the original playstation um the arcade um the arcade -y was down oh yeah there's my arcade -y as well um yeah there's also some uh control pads and different peripherals up the top um down here oh sorry a bit shaky um down here is my arcade um playing missile command at the moment um, and this is kind of cool. So people have been talking about how um, to keep their pads and cables all organized. And I just got one of these um, from an office supply place. And I've just printed out on the little, oh, that's a bit wonky, but mm, yeah. Um, anyway, so yeah, in this drawer is some NES and Super Nintendo cables. And I just keep them all separated as well. Uh, okay, down... We'll go up here. Um, some handhelds, uh, 3DS, DS, Game Boy Advance, which I love the SP. Um, different control pads, links, Sega Game Gear, um, just PC games, also PC games here. I won't run through each of those individually because I've just got so many. Uh, also, I've got um, a, quite a large um, Commodore 64 collection, but that's, yeah, I'll go through that after. Um, PlayStation 2, so there's my original PlayStation, PlayStation 2, so the blue one is my Japanese import, um, black one is the Australian version, and the far black one is a, uh, hacked one, which was meant to be able to play US PlayStation games, um, it unfortunately doesn't really work too good, so I'll get a US PlayStation 2 at some point. Um, down on this shelf, the consoles which I most commonly play, um, and yeah, they're out of their boxes. So, Pokemon edition of the Nintendo 64, which you can see there, looks kind of cool. Someone stuck little stickers on it, which I haven't cleaned up yet, but got that for a bit of a bargain. Uh, NES, US Streamcast, uh, what's that? That's my uh, Mega Drive, Master System, SNES, uh, Australian, all the 60 or 50 hertz, sorry, um, Sega Saturn and Japanese Sega Saturn as well. What else can we go through? Oh, yeah, up here is various pack ins um, that you can get from 
came out here or Big W uh, with multiple games on them. I don't really collect these, but some of them have been bought for me. I've picked them up cheap. Uh, up top, uh, one why I'm a quest, yeah, but there's my son's um, Disney Infinity and Skylander games, which he keeps buying multiple copies of and, and demanding all of the um, figures, which is not fun as a father, but there you go. Uh, um, yeah, Alien Colonial Marine Special Edition, which I pre-ordered on day one and I was very disappointed with. Um, Lord of the Rings, there's a couple of Wii U stuff, and my X Arcade, which I've now updated the PCB board uh, to USB. So, that's most of the hardware. Um, oh, I have a box of um, uh, zappers and stuff for the different systems as well, but we'll go line by line um, and start off with the Master System. So, as you can see there, uh, I've got a fair few collections of Master System games. My father actually bought <clears throat> a news agency when I was a, a young kid, and um, he had a lot of these games and then sold the news agency. Um, and so I've, I've gone through and collected all of them. Um, Power Strike 2, which I think is one of the rarest of my collection. Um, uh, what else have I got? I've got Fantasy Star uh, somewhere as well. Um, yep, so the collection continues. R-Type, I absolutely love my shooters. Um, yeah, so I've got a fair few games. Wonder Boy. Um, yeah, second com control stick. There's another uh, Game Gear there. Uh, and also just sitting there is my Nomad, um, which was one of the first things I bought on a full, uh, when I got my first full-time job when I was 18. Uh, and I sat on the um, the train and would play that with a mate um, because it's got the extra control pad port, uh, which is down the bottom. Yep, so I would sit there with a mate and play Street Fighter 2 on the train against him um, for a good hour. Um, 32X games, I don't have that many. I don't really like the system that much, but yeah, you know, it is what it is. Uh, now, Dreamcast. And I don't have too many of Dreamcast games. Oops, I'll just get the light better on this. Sorry. Um, yeah, I don't have too many Dreamcast games because uh, I didn't end up buying one at the time. I was more into PC gaming. Um, and, you know, going to the pub and whatever. Uh, but yeah, that's what I've managed to pick up at the moment. Um, it's a collection that I intend to expand as I go forward. My Mega Drive collection, though, is something I'm very uh, proud of. So, yep, start down the bottom here. Um, these larger, um, yeah, uh, actual cartridge holders um, are something that I've made. I'll, I'll show you one in a second, actually. I might show my Nintendo one off. Um, but yeah, Mega Drive collections, fairly getting there. Um, I've got them... I used to have them in order of, um, you know, region, but I found that a bit too difficult to actually find games. Um, I'd be going through multiple lists and also the archive app that I've got on my phone um, doesn't keep them in separate um, systems. So I've just alphabetized them at the moment and I use um, a modded um, Mega Drive uh, converter app, any uh, converter anyway, so uh, I can play any of the games on any of the systems. Uh, what's that one? Oh, that's the Ooze. Uh, yeah, so we'll just go through uh, Fantasy Star two, three, and four. So that continues on my Fantasy Star, which is on Master System. That's a series I do love. Um, what else have we got here? Um, yeah, just other stuff. Oh, in the background you can hear, uh, oh, that didn't play. This is Days Before Christmas, which I have boxed and complete there in the corner. Probably the rarest game on my Mega Drive. Uh, continue down here. I may say, as well say now as well, um, the lighting that I use on my shelves, I, I was going to go to Ikea and get, um, you know, these custom lights for my actual shelving. Um, oh yeah, there's zeroing, pretty famous game. Um, but I ended up just um, hooking up some uh, Christmas lights and, um, yeah, run them through 
and actually stapled them onto the top of the shelves and they look pretty good it keeps everything well lit up when i need to find a game um yeah mega cd games down the bottom again like the uh 32x not something i had back in the day not something i'm that interested in but uh, i've picked up games uh when i've seen them uh sonic cd most of the games say now that um i've got them for pretty cheap i don't like spending too much on games um and i don't like keeping things all um you know completely closed off and unopened i like playing my games and that's why i primarily collect right there is a sega world card um that was from sega world in sydney uh and it closed off unfortunately uh and one of my sega ages pins now to the nintendo oh, first actually Sega Saturn, the system I did have when I was younger, uh, and I do really, really love it. Awesome th um, 2D fighting games on there, uh, and the best way to f play the fighting games is with that control stick, um, which still works as well. So yeah, I've got lots of games, a um, couple of copies of Tomb Raider because I've got different types of covers. Um, I haven't really collected different types of covers for any of my other games, but I thought I'd just hang on to that. Um, yeah. So that's my Sega Saturn collection. Um, Japanese Sega Saturn games. I only got that about a month or two ago, my Japanese Sega Saturn. So it's very small at the moment, but that'll keep growing. Go by train, uh, right in the middle of there. Uh, it's one of my favourite games that I've picked up of that lot so far. It's really, really good fun. Uh, now, to the Nintendo games uh yep yeah, so i i do have a number of famicom carts there uh and i'll show you a big box of those in a second as well but yeah here's um my uh, nintendo games again a lot of these is what i've owned um i owned back in the day the only thing remaining from back in the day that i owned is the super mario brothers duck hunt cart which you can see there um, and it's in one of my custom cases. Um, I'll show you that now, actually. So, uh, this bit might be a bit difficult one-handed, but we'll see how we go. So, Robocop 2. Um, I don't have the original cart, but I had... Uh, sorry, I have the original cart, but I did not have the original um, cover. So, I just sort of stuck two DVD covers together, neatly cut out the inside, and you can see it fits fairly snug, doesn't rattle around, and the manual can be held in the background really tight. So that's what I've done with all of my games which uh, don't have covers. Um, it's not for the purpose of me saying, well, you know, that's equal or better than having the original cover. Obviously, I would love the original cover for all of my games. I'm just not in the position to buy them all at this point. So um that keeps them fairly dust free um and also i can see the games in the spines so that's that's my priority um okay across to here atari 2600 games uh, i've got a few not a system i really collect um i went straight to 8-bit and 16-bit uh when i was a kid um my parents did have a hanamax uh, which is one of those um pong clones that didn't really interest me either. I really got into gaming later, so yeah, that's that. Um, this, I don't know how everyone feels about this. Um, my then girlfriend, now wife, bought me this. So it's a bubble, bubble, NES cart, which someone um, massacred on Etsy. And you can see they've put a clock in it. Strangely though, the clock works. And the cart works. So they've actually, you know, the cartridge only goes up to that point on these carts, or most of them. Um, so yeah, they've stuck it in the right spot so the cartridge still works. Uh, but it's got a drilled hole in it. But I still have it there. Um, it was a nice present. Um, okay, so Nintendo 64. Uh, not a system I really liked when I was younger, but it's something that I've gotten into uh, later in life. Uh, they're, oh, what would be the most ex most expensive, probably Conker's Bad Fur Day, uh, which is boxed and complete. 
So I'll shut that off. Yeah, with a nice big W sticker, which I have to get off. I hate big W for doing that. Um, yeah, but there's a fair few games on there, some classics, Lalit Wars, uh, Zelda as well. And the Nintendo 64 games continue. Yeah, so I don't know what much to say about Nintendo 64. I really enjoyed the Star Wars games. Um, and yeah, Mario Party games when I was younger. But uh, And that was at a mate's house. And I managed to purchase these or buy these at thrift shops. Or um, secondhand shops here in Australia. Okay, down we go to my handhelds collections. Um, so Neo Geo Pocket Color. And the Neo Geo Pocket Color games just there. Uh, those I've printed custom covers and put them in large oversized CD cases. Um, yeah, just to keep the cartridges clean and I like being able to see what I have on the shelves. Uh, Game Gear games are just there. Not a huge collection, not something that I owned back in the day. Uh, Engage, they're all what I purchased. Um, I, I purchased the Engage at launch um, and yeah, played the game. <laughs> I need a new phone, and I bought the phone for the games. Probably won't be making that mistake again. Um, probably. Atari Lynx games, all boxed and complete. I don't have any out of the box of the Atari Lynx. Uh, and now we come across to various, we'll, we'll go down first, Game Boy games, uh, which again I've printed off some custom covers for. Uh, and then we get into Game Boy Color. Uh, I've just managed to pick up those at random garage sales or wherever. Uh, Game Boy Advance. All the ones you see in boxes of the Game Boy Advance are what I originally purchased at, at you know, in the shops. And some of those games were so expensive because I wanted them as soon as they were launched. Um, yeah, I remember paying like $60 for Metroid. I think it was, I think Final Fantasy actually was 50 or 60 bucks. Um, but I really liked playing those anyway. Now we're across to, so we'll go to DS first. Um, starting, starting where? Starting here. Uh, yep. And yeah, I've got a pretty good collection. I'm pretty happy with those. You can pick, pick these up for pretty cheap now. Um, my collection's pretty grown or pretty much grown over the last um, couple of months fairly fast uh, 3ds you know I've got some of the modern classics um, I think I'll pick up a lot of these as time goes on you know when uh, kids trade their games in or whatever I don't mind buying second-hand games just as long as they're in pretty good condition uh, right we go to oops sorry okay Nintendo GameCube, and I owned this. This was the first console I bought after my PC gaming infatuation. Um, and many of these games are what? Uh, my original games as well, so stuck with those. Sonic Adventure 2, I actually played first on the GameCube. Never actually played it on the um, Dreamcast until recently. But yeah, uh, an enjoyable system. Also, some more Fantasy Star there in the corner. Um, yeah, so that's what sort of tied me over to purchase a GameCube uh, and a system I do enjoy still to this day. Right, um, across to here, uh, we have Nintendo Wii. Many, many, many games come out on the Wii, which I'm very not interested in, but I, I generally try and stick to the... Um, to the uh, franchises that I like that are continued. Uh, so I've got Knights there. A bit disappointing, but it's okay. Some of the Amigo, it's a pretty good port, I thought. Uh, there's more Wii. Also Wii U. I tend to play that with my son at the moment. Um, and he's enjoying that. Down here, there's my cats, which I will move. Okay. Um... Okay, so Xbox, and yeah, as you see, like my collection starts to grow from this point from every system because these are what I bought back in the day. So yeah, Xbox is 
system I absolutely loved. Um, it got me back into P uh, no, it got me away from PC gaming pretty strongly. Um, oh, I'll try and fix up the lighting there so you can see. Uh, don't think that's working, but that's okay. Um, yeah, Shenmue two. Very excited about Shenmue three. Can't wait actually. Um, yeah, so it's kind of dark down this way, but yeah, you get the idea. Lots and lots of Xbox games. Now, in this box as well is about a hundred um, Famicom games, and uh, doesn't look like this has been cleaned up for a while. But yeah, um, organized in roughly colors. Really like the different colours of them. Uh, some of the games I recognise, some of the games I don't. So, um, oh yeah, well, Dig Dug, um, yep, Dragon Quest. So I've got um, one, two, three, and four in that box somewhere, um, and then five and six on the Super Famicom, which we'll go to next. But yeah, Packland, Donald Duck. Uh, I picked that up as a bulk lot on eBay. I'm very, very happy with it. Um, I still. Yeah, Neat that comes over. We play that every now and then. Uh, that's my Famicom games. Super Nintendo or Super Famicom. Um, it's up here. So the big battle of the playgrounds at the time um, was Mega Drive or Super Nintendo. I was very strongly on the Mega Drive side. Because I owned a Mega Drive, um, I had some mates which had a Super Nintendo. They were very strongly on the Super Nintendo side, so I didn't actually buy one of these until very, very late. I think I only picked one of these up uh, would have been about seven, eight years ago uh, for pretty cheap, and I've enjoyed it ever since. So yeah, I've got lots of stuff there. Uh, what's that? Oh, that's my DOS collection. So that's the Memories Project, which you can download from online. Uh, and even more PC games tucked in there. So yeah, fairly sizable Super Famicom or Super Nintendo collection, which I'm pretty happy with. My PlayStation collection now. Um, now, the actual cases I had for the PlayStation games were all falling apart and broken. I couldn't read most of the sides. I actually kept all of the cases, but I printed off these custom uh, cases and a lot of them are from um, uh, you know from video shops or you know secondhand stores so they're not in the greatest condition um, I might show you Shall I have a look oh yes so inside each of these so we turn I've actually slid in the cover and then the game so it just keeps them well but I've, I've still got the original cover as well um, I just prefer to keep them in these because I think it's more secure actually to keep the game in um, you know cases which actually can hold the CD in rather than or the disc in rather than have them um, fall out every time you go and pick up to play a game. Uh, so yeah, that's that's my PlayStation collection. I'm missing um, Alundra, uh, Final Fantasy VII, and a bunch of other games which I stupidly traded in. When I was younger, I've never actually got to rebuy them, um, and the, they're the most expensive titles now as well. So that's that's very frustrating. But I will have to try and pick them up at some point. PlayStation Two. Now this collection just keeps growing and growing. Um, there is just so much stuff to play on PlayStation Two. I end up not actually playing it as much as the cartridge-based games because they tend to take longer. These these games, um, lots more FMV. Generally, they're longer type games. Um, yeah, Fantasy Star there again. Title that keeps popping up in my collection. So I'm very much still a, a Sega fan. Um, you know, it's a now a shell of a company, but it's yeah. Uh, they had some great titles back in the day. Um, but yeah, my PlayStation 2 collection just keeps growing and growing. Uh, what I am now concentrating on. Um, get to the end of these so there's my Yakuza 1 2 I've got 3 and 4 very excited for 5 coming out in the west um, but yeah now I'm, I'm starting to collect these Japanese um, PlayStation 2 games particularly the Sega Ages 
packs. So I've only got two so far, uh, but they're very nice um, recreations of the original games. So Columns is one of my favorite puzzle games of all time. Just put those back, oops. Yeah. I'll fix that up later. Yeah, anyway, so, um, yeah, there's my PlayStation 2 games, um, NTSC, or oh, sorry, uh, US PlayStation games there, which I currently can't play because of the problems with that PlayStation 2, but I'll probably pick one up at some point anyway. Um, down to here... Oh, okay, so this is the start of the Commodore 64 games. Um, it's just a few plus um, PlayStation 2 demo discs. Down there um, is more, so I'll just turn that TV down, uh, yeah, so there's some, oh, there's some Amstrad games there, so yeah, I do have an Amstrad as well, CPC64, I think they're called, uh, yeah, with the tapes, so yeah, I've got those, I you know, don't really collect those, plus more PC games mixed in with Commodore 64 games there. Uh, yeah, I don't really collect those, but if I see them for cheap, I'll pick them up anyway. Uh, up here, PSP games, plus some um, yeah, figures just hanging out. Uh, yeah, so I've, I've tried to collect what I like to play on the PC, PSP, um, but all of my hours is now, all my mobile gaming hours are currently going into the JXT, uh, JXD rather. PS3, I'm pretty happy with this collection so far. Got the Dead Space series. Uh, yeah, God of War. Some of the more independent type of stuff, stuff as well. Absolutely love Journey. Played it, I think, four or five times all the way through. Um, yeah, it's a great, great game. Um, yeah, more PS3 games. More Sonic, some Street Fighters and... Yeah, so I like those, uh, I actually do like those arcade type games. Um, also a big fan of role-playing games, which I think you can see through my collection. Uh, Xbox 360, I actually got the Xbox 360 before I got the PS3, and that's why I own that Xbox One now before the PS4. But I will be getting the PS4, um, definitely for Shenmue 3. Um, yeah, Xbox 360 games, Fantasy Star again. Halo series, um, yeah, so that's those games, tend not to play the Xbox 360 now as much as the PS3, um, I think my 360s are getting a bit old, probably need to get a new one because the drive's going a bit slow, uh, Xbox One games, which I'm only starting off the collection, I've only owned that for about, Ooh, about four or five months now, um, and only picked up stuff that I really wanted, like Alien Isolation. Haven't played that yet, but I need to get to that. Um, and there's my retro gamers. Uh, sadly, I stopped because of uh, you know changes with employment and stuff, and not having time to read them. And then I went digital, and I've only gone digital since. So I really should go back to hard covers, but or well, actual physical co copies. But yeah, just having the time to go through them and read them is not um, premium at the moment because we've got the baby due on the way. I already have a son, so uh, yeah. But yeah, that's my collection. Um, hope you liked it. Uh, it is something that I really like to play. I love having people over to you know show them some of the stuff that I've got, some of the weird consoles and games. Um, oh, actually, I should point that out. So that's my Dreamcast collection um, vinyl which I got with the Xbox 360 Dreamcast collection. Uh, and it's a real vinyl, um, number 406. And yeah, it's got some cool tracks on there. Something nice. Um, I've got also Garage Band up there and you know, different stuff. Um, yeah, the Arcade Racer, I've actually got two of those. Uh, so that's, that's pretty fun. Yeah, so that's my collection. Hope you liked it, guys. Uh, if you did, please, uh, you know, like or comment on this this video. Um, hit me up on Twitter. It's Retro Soups, S W O P S. Um, yeah, and hope you enjoy. See ya.